over, we're only going over four tomorrow because tomorrow we're covering four prophets who came up in Surah 1 and 2. And I think that's just Ibrahim, uh, Musa, which is Moses, um, Ibrahim, Musa, Isaac, I believe. And what did I just tell? I, I was just telling someone in the club exactly what we're going to go over. Hold on. Peace be upon them. Let me see. Going over Ibrahim, Ishak, which is Isaac, and Musa, which is Moses. Peace be upon them. We're going over those four tomorrow. I can't wait. I can't wait. Because if y'all were here in the live when I was going over um, Adam, peace be upon him. And that was when Satan started yapping at the mouth and everything. I can't wait to go over that one. But, and the others for that matter. So let's start with, for those who are reading along, we are on N. Surah 71, and we're starting with the first ayah. First verse. Nu? Oh, it's pronounced Nu. Nu is Noah. Or no. Oh, no? Oh, that makes more sense. Noah. So it would be pronounced no. I got it. I don't even know why, like, the translation says Noah. I don't even know why I made it hard on myself. <laughs> I don't know why I made it hard on myself. Indeed, we sent Noah to his people saying to him, warn your people before a painful punishment comes to them. Noah proclaimed, oh, my people, I am truly sent to you with a clear warning. Worship Allah alone, fear him and obey me. He will forgive your sins and delay your end until the appointed time. Indeed, when the time set by Allah comes... It cannot be delayed, if only you knew. He cried, my Lord, I have surely called my people day and night, but my calls only made them run farther away. And whenever I invite them to be forgiven by you, they press their fingers into their ears, cover themselves with their clothes, persist in denial, and act very arrogantly. Then I certainly called them openly. Then I surely preached to them publicly and, and privately, saying, seek your Lord's forgiveness, for he is truly most forgiving. He will shower you with abundant rain, supply you with wealth and children, and give you gardens as well as rivers. What is the matter with you that you are not in awe of the majesty of Allah? <laughs> when he truly created you in stages of development. Stages of development? Where's my pen and paper? It says C22, 5, and 23, 12 to 14. We're going we gonna to do a little skip a <laughs> We're going to do a little, we're going to see 22, 5 real quick. What's 22? Al Hajj, the Surah Al Hajj. We're going to jump to 22, 5 and see what stages of development means. Oh, humanity, if you are in doubt with resurrection, then know that we did create you from dust, then from a sperm drop. What? Then developed you into a clinging clot, then a lump of flesh, fully formed or unformed, in order to demonstrate our power to you. Then we settle whatever embryo we will in... Wait... We will in the womb for an appointed term, then bring you forth as infants so that you may reach your prime. Some of you may die young while others are left to reach the most feeble stage of life so that they may know nothing after having known much. And you see the earth lifeless, but as soon as we send down rain upon it, it begins to start to life and swell, producing every type of pleasant plant. Google, hold please. Uh. 
there was no clear understanding of embryology until Carl Ernst von Baer in 1827. Those stages that were just in here 1400 years ago, science did not catch up until 1827. What you mean? What do you mean? It was talking about sperm drop embryo and everything. This is wild. This is wild. What do you mean? Yo! need a moment. Never in my life have I read anything about fetal stage development in an ancient book. Because the Bible talks about seed, but that's it. Like that's, that is as deep as the Bible gets in regards to in, in regards to human life or, or creating human life, it doesn't go into sperm drop and, and embryo and, and, and fetus de fetal development. That's wild. Man, why didn't everybody know about this? Y'all been keeping secrets. <laughs> Y'all been keeping secrets. What's this? That's legit. Where were we? I've done lost my place. Pseudo 71. That's wild. That's wild. That's why I also recommend, that's why I also recommend the uh, clear Quran version because the notes are perfect. The notes will reference something like that's what I like most about it because I would have been like staring at this, like what do they mean stages of, because I, I figured that's what they meant, but I still was in disbelief. Like you can't mean fetal stages of development 1400 years ago, because I know for a fact, just being a, a, a fan of science, that that wasn't even discovered in science 1400 years ago. But then it referenced the exact verse or the exact ayah where they were like, no, that's exactly what they meant. And we're specific. <laughs> we are specific. So there's no mistaking what we meant. That's wild. All right, continuing on to 7115. Do you not see how Allah created seven heavens, one above the other, placing the moon within them as a reflected light and the sun as a radiant lamp? Allah alone caused you to grow from the earth like a plant. Then he will return you to it and then simply bring you forth again. Mm. And Allah alone spread out the earth for you to walk along its spacious pathways. Eventually, Noah cried, my Lord, they have certainly persisted in disobeying me and followed, inst and followed instead those elite whose abundant wealth and children only increase them in loss. And who have devised a tremendous plot, urging their followers, do not abandon your idols, especially Wad, Suwa, Yakuf, Yak. Nasid, 
Is that how you pronounce N A S R? Nasud? Or Nasud? Those elite have already led many astray. So, O oh Lord, only allow the wrongdoers to stray farther away. So because of their sins, they were drowned, then admitted into the fire. And they found none to help them against Allah. Imagine drowning, bruh. Imagine drowning. Imagine water filling your lungs. Imagine ah, ah, nothing's coming out except water. You're not breathing. The air, it's not getting there. You're, you have that traumatic death and then you're in fire. Oh my God. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine gasping for air that's not coming and then you're burning <laughs> the next moment. Imagine that. Imagine die. Imagine dying a traumatic death and then you're, and then you're on fire for eternity. Wow. So because of their sins, they were drowned and admitted to fire and they found none to help them against Allah. Noah had prayed, my Lord, do not let leave a single disbeliever on earth. <laughs> not Noah hyping Allah up. <laughs> not, not Noah saying, get all of them. Don't leave a single one behind. No, what? Dang. Dang. So Noah was like, oh, okay. I tried to warn y'all. Y'all ain't listening to me. Take all of them out. Take them all out. Dang. <laughs> Dang. That's cold-blooded. For if you spare any of them, they will certainly mislead your servants and give birth only to wicked sinners, staunch, belie- staunch disbelievers. So he was saying, if you leave any one of them behind, all they're going to do is give birth to evil babies. <laughs> Their, their, their baby's going to be exactly the same. My Lord, forgive me, my parents and whoever enters my house in faith and all believing men and women and increase the wrongdoers only in destruction. <laughs> Dang. Noah is cold-blooded. Blood, peace be upon him. <sighs> that was... That, all of the, all of the uh, prophets books or prophet surahs are just are just piping hot tea all of it all the time all the time dang that was a good one i missed the moon what you mean what you mean how did i miss the moon they said something about the moon? I know they said the orbit. Where was the moon? Oh, you're talking going to go to the moon. Go to the moon. What what soda did y'all say it was? Oh, the moon reflects this. Oh. Wait, it straight up did say that, didn't it? Placing the moon within them as a reflected light and the sun as a radiant lamp. No way. I straight up did just pass right by that. For those confused, for those confused about what just happened, (laughs) about what just happened, this book, the Quran, came out 1,400 years ago, 1,400, 1,400 years ago whenever you're looking up astronomy astrology astronomy no astrology is the horoscopes astronomy when you're looking into astronomical science 
look up when they discovered that the moon was not its own light, but it in fact reflected the light of the sun. Look that up. Because that was not discovered 1400 years ago. That came way after in the world of science. This book is spitting facts centuries before they ever came out. Well, I mean, they were already out. It's just people like blew this off as like a a religious book, I guess. Like they they just wild, wild. That's wild. Regardless of where you are in faith, like regardless of where you are, even if you are like an atheist right now, you can't, you can't deny that's coolest. That, that is, (laughs) that's wild. That is cool. Like even, even if you are not of faith, I would still read this book just out of fascination alone. Cause that's wild. What are y'all suggesting? What 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 surah is next? Isra? Isra. What's that one about? 55. Oh, 55 is Ar, uh, Rahman. We, we did that yesterday. Um... Let me see. I'll, I kind of want to do another prophet story because those are juicy. Let me see. Patient of Omar Hisham. Beautiful voice, voice of an angel. But it it was like such a chill, it was like such a chill sound, like such a chill recitation. And so I was just vibing. I was just like, you know, kind of, kind of swaying along. Like just, it it was, it, it was a good nighttime. It was like a good bedtime recitation. Like it would put you, it would put you to sleep so, so purely. But I was reading along because it had the, it had the translation on screen and his voice was chill, but then on screen, it was saying how Mary had just given birth. And that was a hard birth. She was asking for death and everything. Like she, she went through it. <laughs> she went through it. Jesus put her through it. She went through it. Peace be upon him. She went through it. And so she finally gave birth, was bringing the baby into town and and she basically says, show some respect. This is, <laughs> this is your prophet. Show some respect. And they said, how are we going to, they said, how are we going to have a conversation with an infant? <laughs> and it said, they pointed, how are we going to have a conversation with an infant? And Jesus being an infant, a newborn infant opened his mouth and was like, actually, you're going to show me some respect. I'm a prophet. And you don't need to be talking to my mama like that. Wild, <laughs> wild. The visual. So yeah, we saw, we we read uh, Mariam. Uh, read Surah Al Kaf. Is that the cave one? Let me tell y'all what happened last night. Let me tell y'all what happened last night. So I decide we I decided to listen to one of the recitations any translation just to see if I could like figure out what it means, even though I don't know the language. And we listened to, I think it was al Kaf, the, the cave. And we were listening to it. Keep in mind, I had not read this before. I had not heard it before, nothing. And I was like, this sounds like a journey. I just see people on a journey. 
people traveling on a journey. And people in the comments were like, no way, this is the story of the cave. I was like, you lying. It was, it was a whole moment. <clears throat> it was a whole moment. But that was legit. I highly recommend just listening, just trying that out. Because that's a whole vibe. Try listening to the recitations without translation if you if you if you're not fluent in arabic if you're fluent in arabic you know what they're about but try listening to the recitations without translation if you're new to islam or if you're not muslim and you're like reading the quran for the first time try try listening to the recitations without translation and guessing just based on what you're hearing guessing what it's about and then go back and read it and see if you're right it's a whole vibe. I promise. Everybody's saying, Yusuf, we read that last night. I cried four times. I've already read Yusuf. It's my favorite so far. His brothers were tripping. Loot. I've seen loot a lot. Is, is it loot? Or lot, lot, loot. Loot. Oh, was that Lot? Is that the story of Lot? Yo, that was one of the that was one of the craziest stories in the Bible. Let's go to Luke. Let's go to Luke. Y'all know about spoiler alert. Y'all know about Lot and his daughters. Let's go to the story. Which Suda is that? Which which Suda is Luke? Yes, we're going to Luke, but which Suda is that? Are we about to read about his daughters? Is it the same in the Quran? So for those of you who haven't read the Bible, Lot, the story of Lot, right? There was a city of, uh, what was the city called? Was it Sodom? Sodom? There was this wicked, wicked ass city, okay? Where people were committing all kinds of sin. And so God said, hey, psst, Lot, take your wife. And take your daughters and get out. Because I'm about to wipe that city clean. <laughs> that city's about to be straight destroyed, turned to dust. And don't look back or you're going to be straight up turned to stone. Okay? Just look straight ahead. Don't don't cover your eyes, baby. Don't, <laughs> don't look back. Lot's wife looked back. which was a stupid decision, okay? Lot and his daughters escaped. He was in a tent. And the daughters were like, our mama's dead. How is he going to carry on his seed? Y'all know where this is going, right? Keep in mind, this is the Bible. This is not the Quran. I'm not talking about the Quran. I'm talking about what happened in the Bible. The Christian Bible. One of his daughters gave Lot wine to get him drunk, make him like blackout drunk. Then they both laid with Lot. Had kids with him. Their own daddy. 
I remember reading that in the book of Genesis and I was like, like the, I, I, I had to take a whole moment. So I'm, ex- I'm, I'm looking forward. Y'all are already saying, no, they had, they had a lot messed up. So I'm, I'm ready to read the, I'm ready to read this version because that when I was like, Incest. Why am I not seeing Luke? So he turned away from them saying, oh, my people, surely I conveyed to you my Lord's message and gave you sincere advice, but you do not like sincere advisors. (laughs) And remember when Lot scolded the men of his people saying, do you commit a shameful deed that no man has ever done before? You lust after men instead of women. You are certainly transgressors. But his people's only response was to say, expel them from your land. They are a people who wish to remain chaste or chaste. But his people's only response was to say, expel them from your land. Them. They are. Oh, he's telling Lot. They're telling Lot and his family. Expel them from your lands. They are people who will who wish to remain chaste. So we saved him and his family, except his wife, who was one of the doomed. What was his wife doing? Was he supposed to be looking bad? Or is it the same story? Like she, she looked bad? Or was her wife, was his wife actually doing stuff? We poured upon them a rain of brimstone. See what was the end of the wicked. And to the people of uh, Midian, we sent their brother Shuai. He said, oh, my people, worship Allah. You have no other God except him. A clear proof has already come to you from your Lord. So give just measure and wait. Do not defraud people of their property, nor spread corruption in the land after it has been set in order. This is for your own good if you are truly believers. And do not lie in ambush on every road, threatening and hindering those who believe in Allah from his path and striving to make it appear crooked. Remember when you were few, he then, then, then he increased you in number and considered the fate of the corruptors. If in what I've been sent with, in what I've been sent with while others do not, then be patient until Allah judges between us. He is the best of judges. The arrogant chiefs of his people threatened, O Shuai, we will certainly expel you and your fellow believers from our land unless you return to our faith. He replied, even if we hate it? (laughs) (laughs) Yo! Oh, that was real. That was real. We would surely be fabricating a lie against Allah if we return to your faith after Allah has saved us from it. It does not befit us to return to to it unless it is the will of Allah or our Lord. Our Lord has encompassed everything in his knowledge and Allah we trust. Our Lord, judge between us and our people with truth. You are the best of those who judge. The disbelieving chiefs of his people threatened, if you follow Shu'ai, you will surely be losers. Then an overwhelming earthquake struck them and they fell lifeless in their homes. Those who rejected Shuai were wiped out as if they had never lived there. Those who rejected Shuai were the true losers. Wiped out as if they had never lived there. Meaning their existence was taken out as if they were never born. That's wild. He turned away from them saying, oh, my people, indeed, I've delivered to you the messages. 
oh, it's not a repeat. The messages of my Lord and gave you sincere advice. How can how can I then grieve for those who chose to disbelieve? <laughs> Lot said, I'm too relieved to grieve. <laughs> Lot said, I tried to tell y'all. Y'all set yourselves up. I can't grieve for you. I'm sorry. Dang. Or should I? Not Lot. Should I? Should I? That's 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 one thing that's difficult about uh uh the Quran. It jumps stories so quick, like from like from one verse to another. That's the only like the because I'm used to the Bible where a book in the Bible that's your full story from begin like the once upon a time, <laughs> like beginning to end. In the Quran, in one in one ayah, it will say. Lot said this, and then the very next ayah, so Shuaib went to the land, it's like, wait, what happened? What happened? Listen. Okay, so people are saying Surah 11 for, for loot. Let's get into it. What, uh, what verses? It's about 123 ayahs. Which ayahs? Start on 70? Okay. Ooh, I could already tell this is going to be good. And when he saw that their hands did not reach for the food, he became suspicious and fearful of them. They reassured him, do not be afraid. We are angels sent only against the people of Lot. And his wife was standing by, so she laughed. The nerve. She laughed after her husband. So this is a footnote. She laughed after her husband was assured that the guests intended no harm. Or when she heard the news of the imminent destruction of the sinful people of Lot. Okay. <laughs> so basically Lot's wife laughed because Lot was like, these, these people mean no harm. Like they're, they come in peace. <laughs> they straight up sat there at the table, didn't even touch the food and was like, we going to kill everybody. <laughs> That's why she laughed. What? Y'all are saying that's Abraham's wife? What do you mean? They just said... Oh, they were telling Abraham's wife that they were going after the people of Lot. He, they talking to Abraham. So stop telling me this is the story of Lot and that it starts at 70. It's, it starts at 70 with the story of Abraham. I've always liked Abraham's wife. Abraham's wife, straight up, she laughs all the time. I forgot when you click on it, it, it reads it for you. But let me see. Okay, so now I'm in the right. I'm in the right mindset. So the angels are speaking to Abraham. So Abraham was telling his wife, "What's Abraham's wife called in the Quran?" Because it's Sarah in the Bible. It's Abraham's wife called Sarah. Oh. <laughs> That works. I've always liked Sarah. 
to the point where I, I, when I was a kid, I thought that if I ever had children, I would name my daughter Sarai because that was Sarah's name before God changed it. I thought it was pretty. It means my princess. But, um, okay. So let's go ahead and reread it now that I'm in the right state of mind. And when he saw that their hands did not reach for the food, he became suspicious, suspicious and fearful of them. This is Abraham. They reassured him, do not be afraid. We are angels sent only against the people of Lot. And his wife was standing by cackling. Then we gave her good news of the birth of Isaac and after him, Jacob. She wondered, oh my, how can I have a child in this old age? And my husband here is an old man. This is truly an astonishing thing. They responded, are you astonished by Allah's decree? May Allah's mercy and blessings be upon you. O people of this house, indeed, he is praiseworthy, all glorious. They're saying, are you surprised? <laughs> Allah created the universe. You think that Allah cannot give an old woman a child? This is an easy thing. So hold your laughter, ma'am. <laughs> Then after the fear had left Abraham and the good news had reached him, he began to plead with us for the people of Lot. Truly, Abraham was forbearing, tenderhearted, and ever turning to his Lord. The angel said, O oh, Abraham, plead no more. Your Lord's decree. Hold on. I'm sorry to interrupt. Is this the story where he was like, will you save somebody or will you save the 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 town of lot or the people of lot if there's if there's five good people in there and they were like we'll save the town if 